Exploring Harris Waltz 2024, the most astroturf presidential campaign in American history. And I have to say, for one thing, seeing that woman go from rally to rally, you know, have a concert first, have a free concert so everyone turns up, and then speak your piece as everyone's fucking leaving. And she's cackling in the middle of the sentence. And her VP pick? was the former governor, or maybe even current governor, of Minnesota, who has led that state off a cliff to such an extent that he authorized the changing of Minnesota's flag to the flag of the pirate state of Somalia. I am not even fucking joking. The similarity is uncanny. But we have uh, American guests on this show who can provide us a perspective of the campaign on the ground. We're going to start off with Darby. What do you make of Harris Waltz 2024? Are you going to vote for them, Darby? Hell fucking no. Um, why? Why? Because I'm going with Trump this time because at least Trump doesn't. What do you mean vote. this time? Who did you vote for in 2020? Trump. Um, so, like, what they're doing right now is they're trying to edit the crowd size. Mm-hmm. So, every single place that she goes, they will just Photoshop in the crowd. And then she's been stealing Trump's comments. So every idea that Trump comes out with, she steals. And it's kind of like... Typical it, minority. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> she does, but, I mean, Harris doesn't know how to... I mean, I'm just going to be honest. She doesn't know how to lead anything. She is the worst mm. pick. I think this if this country was legitimately interested in having at least a an election that wasn't a landslide for Trump, because he is going to win. I mean, hands down, he's going to win, right? But, like, why Harris? And as for Waltz, all right, this jackass, mm-hmm. first of all, I, I love people. I mean, I come from a military family, so I take anybody that just has to lie about being in the military, like, bloody seriously, because people mm. that do stolen valor are the worst examples of humans in the world. Harris, uh, not Harris, Waltz, basically lied about his entire military background. And then he has placed tampons in boys' bathrooms Mm -hmm. in his state. I'm like, dude, enough of this. There was also a a rumor, an unsubstantiated rumor, that uh, Waltz drank horse cum. No, I heard heard that. I, I I don't know if that's true or not, but that would be incredibly ironic. I mean... Uh, Vice President Camel Toe, yeah. with uh, with her with her VP candidate being Vice President Horse Cum Fucker. Um, I, it's just it, you couldn't make this up. I personally think because I'll provide my perspective. Then we'll go to Dempsey's, uh, then uh, Toasties. Oh, my perspective is that Kamala Harris is a political sacrifice, and that the Demon yeah. Rats don't want her to have a political career. Uh, just like they don't want Tim Waltz to have a political career in the future. So they are sacrificial lambs. They're thrown into the Trump train, and hopefully the Trump train does them in. Why? Because if these people lead the Democrat Party, or as I like to call them, the Demorat Party, it would be a complete disaster. I think they will be the fall guys, for lack of a better term, which will give the Demon Rats a good four years For a new generation to take the reins, Trump will be gone in 2028 as an old man who tried his best to make America great again. And quite frankly, I think he will fail because there will be another crisis in four years time, just like there was one four years ago. And then with a new generation of demon rats, they'll find a, a candidate that they can hang together with while the Republican Party and the MAGA nationalists rip each other to fucking shreds over who should be a successor. They're already doing it now, folks. Right. So I'm sure they'll do it in 2028. So right. best case scenario for the Demon Rats is if these four guys, Harris and Waltz, and those who are supporting them lose. But best case scenario for them is that they prevail through another rigged election. 
They did it once, they can do it again, yeah. and again and again and again until the end of fucking days. Best case scenario, they win it by rigging it, and while Harris Waltz completely uh, dumb fucks the entire United States and sends all the hate speech people to the UK to be in prison, uh, the Democrats will have a chance to rebuild the party. So that's my view. And, uh, well, discuss whether I'm batshit crazy or whether I'm on point. Uh, Dempsey's having a, a smoke. He's coming yeah. back. Let's yeah. let's get his Please. perspective on the on the situation first. Okay. Go on, Dempsey. Well, she was part of the squad, which is one of the most extremist left is anybody has ever been in the United mm. States of America without getting thrown in jail. Mm. And not only did she fail upwards, she fell upwards from her back. So let's go ahead and just say what it is. The only reason this girl is relevant in any way at all is because she was a brown girl who liked to prosecute other brown people and slept with a brown guy. And an old white man came and saved her from obscurity. I still, I still remember when Tulsi Gabbard completely destroyed Kamala Harris's mm -hmm. 2020 campaign. Because yeah. uh, I really think... Bad. I really think the demon rat establishment wanted her to be the candidate, uh, be like this rising star, fresh face figure. And that's how she became VP because right. of that connection. Then four years of being VP, the demon rats realized right. this fucking woman is a mess. Right. Let's throw yeah. her under the bus. So it's, it's very interesting. You make that point Dempsey providing crucial context. Uh, Toasty, well, what do you make of on. one more thing real fast? Oh, she was sure. also the border czar. And you see the job that she did at the border. It's ridiculous. If you think that that wasn't on purpose, you might be dumb. And I'm telling you right now that all of that has uh, everything that she did down at the border was exactly what the squad wanted to happen. So she needs more brown people to prosecute Dempsey. Right. Exactly. They're importing voters. Mm. Yeah. As well as resurrecting the dead. But Toasty, That's what right. do you make of the whole situation behind? Uh, Kamala Harris and uh, Waltz, the uh, what, what, what was he, Dobby? A, a stolen valor horse yeah. come fucker, yeah, pretty much. Right, what do you make of, of that team? Do you think they'll they'll beat Trump and JD Vance? Nah, fuck them, bitches. I'm voting for Trump. Mm. JD Vance sounds like a perfume for men, right? He's kind of cute. He does have that kind of beard action going, like kind of gay, like very like gay, it. Darby. I think he's adorable. Oh my! But please, uh, Toasty. Uh, first of all, what do you think of Kamala Harris? Do you think she has been a good vice president? She be lying. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> she, she's. Have you ever heard her say, "Yeah, you know, me, me and my family. We, you know, when I was a little girl, we celebrated Kwanzaa, and then you see pictures of her celebrating Christmas with a Christmas tree behind them and stuff right. like that. And it's like you lying bitch. Shut up, yep. you fucking hyena. The the screw. Yeah, the craziest thing about Kamala Harris is that she laughs in the middle of her sentences. She be right. lying, and, and I know, like, when you you're in politics. I know a lot of these people lie, but like, can you at least kind of be good at it? Because she lies, and it's just yeah. like, be, be yeah, be Obama. At least lie convincingly, right? right. Mm. At least, right? right. I, I know it's I know it's very difficult to do this in the United States. Probably much easier to do it in a smaller country with a much lower population. But on the ground, politicians who go from village to village, who go from town to town knock on doors, talk to the people, have their advisors take notes so they can understand the people's concerns. I think that's the way to go. I mean, take take where I'm at. South Wales Valley's got close to a million people. It's one third of the Welsh population. I'd say it take about maybe a month to tour that part of Wales and meet as many people as possible in the various counties. I'd say a tour of Wales... You know, meet everyone, understand their concerns, take notes. It would probably take about a year. And that's three million people. It's not really possible for uh, a politician, whether they're campaigning or whether they've been elected, to tour across the United States of America, across 50 states, and meet uh, quite possibly millions of people right. and, and be able to have a, a suitable 
a structure of government that way because there are so many people and there are so many demands. That's why you guys have the state model, the federal model, that sort of thing. But I would really like to see politicians on the ground speaking to the people, especially in rural areas, because it's much easier to do. And given the electoral college system, you could get a third of the popular vote, appeal to the smallest states, win enough of them, and actually win that way. I do have another idea of what sure. we could do. Sure. I reckon that when it comes to the um, Democratic Convention, Kamala is going to get there with horse boy and it's going to be oh yeah sorry we're going to have hillary rerun you see the thing is with that convention is being done in chicago which i think is probably the worst place to hold yeah a convention. Uh, I mean, there, there are a ton of pro there are a ton of protests being planned almost all of them left wing in nature we're talking about you know as as many as half a dozen groups as many as fifty thousand protesters in the middle of Chicago, which easily kills a handful of people a day in terms yeah, of exactly. violent crime, and having 50,000 people protesting close to the DNC area in the right. middle of Chicago, it's a recipe for disaster. And if it does go down there, what a win that would be for the Trump team, especially given recent events. But uh, I just don't see them prevailing. And then again, I didn't see Joe Biden, who could barely think, win in 2020. So he did. There you go. He had a lot of hope. A lot of hope with that. You know? Yeah. And so did. And, and, and yeah. so does she. Yeah. Uh,